Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to help you save power within your smart home using If This Then That and also to add security. And this is going to go through a couple of situations in your home, but it will help you to just start to peel back some of those costs that you're suffering today. So one of the absolutely great things about If This Then That Pro is that you can trigger multiple actions with one single condition happening. And one of the really great features that you can use is the location feature. And there's a number of other location services available on If This Then That. But for today, I'm just going to use the location, which is attached to your phone. So it's a really easy thing to connect. Now, you can say that that when I exit an area and you can go ahead and pick your area around your home, well then I can create a trigger. So anytime I exit that area, what do I want to do? And if we're talking about securing our home, well if you're like me, then you have a number of different camera services so or camera devices. Now Blank has the ability to arm their system and you can go ahead, if you had multiple systems, you could pick which one to arm. I only have the one at home or the, the system at home. The other nice feature is WISE, which a lot of people have these devices and you can actually choose between a couple of different options. There's the enable motion detection or turning on the device and that will depend on how you have your camera set up, which one you want to choose. But I'm going to choose turn on devices. That's kind of how I manage my cameras. They have motion detection on anytime they're turned on. So I'm going to turn on all of the cameras. I also have cameras from EasyViz and what's really interesting about these guys is they give you the ability to toggle sleep mode. Now, what you have to read here when you really get into it is that you're turning off sleep mode on whichever device you'd like. I also have smart things and I have cameras inside of Samsung smart things. Now, Normally, a lot of you would have your Samsung smart things already attached to your presence on your smartphone, but if you don't, well then, this is a really great way to do that, a really simple way to do that. So you can see, here's my smart things cam. I can turn that on anytime I'm leaving the area. So what you now have is four different camera services all being integrated, and there's more on if this than that. If you have other different kinds of cameras, you can look for those as well. So I would say at this point, my home is pretty secure, but there's certain things you wanna to do to kinda of accentuate how secure your home is. So let's start with maybe turning on a speaker, and Sonos is a great option here. You can just choose to play a favorite, and you can pick any of the different favorites that you have, and then you can also pick where you wanna play it, and if you wanna include grouped rooms or all of the rooms in your home so you really get a lot of music playing while you're out of the home and this might not save power but what it would do is create additional security because someone would hear that noise if they're looking into your home. Another thing that really helps with security is to manage our lighting system. And I always use Philips Hue here with If This Then That. It tends to be really reliable. Now, you could create a scene that would then change all of your different lights to exactly what you want in a specific room. You could turn on all the lights or you could turn off all the lights. Now for me, with my Hue system, I just want to turn off all my lights and that's going to start the path of creating a little bit of power savings whenever I'm out of the house. However, the biggest power saving is likely to be your thermostat. And Ecobee allows me to choose a number of different things. I can set a thermostat hold for a number of hours, but I think if I'm leaving, I don't really know how long I'm going to be out for. I want to set the thermostat to an indefinite hold, and then I will change the temperature when I come back. And if you're dropping it down, you're likely to save yourself some money if it's a little bit warm out. And then in the summer, you may want to actually allow the temperature to raise. 
Some other ideas for you, you know what? The coffee pot or really any appliance is a really good thing to turn off. Now I turn mine off with what's called SwitchBot and I can go ahead and just hit the bot turn off. Now what's really interesting in here is I have a PC bot and then I have a coffee pot bot and both of those could be used to turn them off. Now I'll show you something really interesting. I'm going to use SwitchBot to turn off my PC but then I can also go to Samsung Smart Things again, and because there's an integration between SwitchBot and Samsung Smart Things, I can actually go in here and find my coffee pot, it's up here, to turn that off as well. Now at this point, we have four different cameras we're turning on. We are turning on our Sonos to play some music while we're away. And then we're also basically turning off the rest of the home. And obviously you could add additional services like the Smart Life system or the Smart Life or Tuya application here. What you're likely to want to do within the Smart Life application is to create a scene to turn off a number of different devices. So now that we have this really complicated routine or applet, we can just go ahead and continue and then save an applet title here. So I've called it Secure My Home and Save Power because that's kind of fun to say. And I have now created that applet. It's now connected. And if I'd like to edit it in the future, I can do that. But we obviously need to create the opposite of this action when we return home. So I'm going to add that location service again as the trigger, but I'm going to choose when I enter the area. So I've said when I enter the area, and what I wanna do here is probably turn off all of my different cameras because you don't want those recording when you're coming into the home every time or I think for a lot of people, they don't want that to happen. So I've chosen again to turn off all the devices and maybe you don't wanna do that. Maybe you're okay with a camera in the garage but you wanna turn off that one. You could just select the single camera and of course, we're going to do the same thing with our other cameras that we turned on when we left. So I'm going to disarm my blank and I'm going to turn off or snooze the easy viz cameras so I'll be toggling the sleep mode for this device on and then I'll be creating that action and finally I'll be turning off the Samsung smart things camera Before we had turned on the Sonos, and so you might want to mute or pause that device. Now mute would continue it to play in the background, so you'd continue to use bandwidth. So I think in most cases, you're going to want to pause. The next thing you wanna do is adjust your thermostat because you did actually set that to an indefinite hold in the previous applet. So you want to decide whether or not you wanna set the thermostat again, or maybe you wanna resume the program that you already have in there programmed on a daily basis. Of course, you could turn on any other devices you'd like when you come home, any lighting you'd like, but in general, I think you get the point that your home can be set up when you return and you will have had all of it secure and also you've turned off all of the things that you needed to when you left. So I've created an applet title of set my home up when I return and I'm going to create that applet. Now I have these two applets that are ready to manage my home when I'm leaving and entering. One of the things that you can do with smart lighting in your home is really save a lot of money but it's hard to use that or be aware of what the conditions are outside. And one of the things that affects the lighting in my home is the current weather. And 
one of the things that you can do with if this then that is actually adjust your lighting based on the current condition. So you can see this current condition changes too. So this is a trigger service that allows you to filter based on if the current condition changes to clear, well, then my home is going to be pretty bright. And so what I can actually do is then through a number of different services, and I've already talked to you about Philips Hue in the past, you can set a scene, you can dim certain lights to certain values, and I think this is a great one to use, and I'll show you why. So I could dim all of my lighting, I could dim a specific area, and you, I mean, you can go ahead and choose different things. But let's say that when it goes to a clear condition outside, I only want my lighting at 20%. And I mean, when you go from a value of 100% brightness to 20% brightness, you're saving a ton of money. You know, the current condition changing to clear could be at any time. And then, you know what? Our lights might be off in the middle of the night. So we don't want to turn them on to 20%. And that's what would happen if it went to clear in the middle of the night. So what we need to do is actually to add an additional condition to this, which is the current time. And the good news about if this and that is they always track the current time. So all we have to do is add a filter here. Now, don't worry. I know this is looking a little bit crazy because we're going to have to write code, but we really don't have to write this code. If you just go to this help center article or I mean, you can grab my code at the end of this too. But if I just grab this, running applets only during certain times, and that's exactly what I think we wanna do here today. I'm pasting that in and I'll walk you through what some of this code means. Let is a way to define a variable and so we're defining a variable called current hour. And current hour is equal to, or it's getting the value of the meta.currentusertime.hour, which is a fancy way of saying the current hour when the applet has triggered. So when the condition goes to clear, we're gonna put the, the current hour into the variable current hour. Now, what this actually is, is a value between zero and 23, because zero is the midnight hour, and then 23 is 11 p.m. So what we have here is a conditional statement that says, if the current hour is less than nine, or the current hour is greater than 23, then right now what they're saying is, email dot send email dot skip and they're saying skip sending an email well we're not sending an email but what we could do is skip setting our brightness to 20 percent if you wanted to you could also set the brightness to something else but i think for now we just want to copy and grab this action which is skip so i've pasted that in there but that means that if it's less than nine o'clock, 9 a.m. in the morning, or 11 p.m. or later, then we won't turn those lights to 20%, which is probably a good choice. Now, the thing you could do is tighten this up a little. Maybe you want it to be less than seven, or maybe you want it to be less than eight, and maybe you wanna stop doing this at 10 o'clock instead. In the future, if you wanna get more complicated, maybe you want to set your Ecobee every time the condition changes to clear, you, you could check what the temperature is and then actually include an action for the Ecobee. This is something that's really extendable in the future if you'd like to do that. But this little simple applet will actually save you a ton of money with your lighting in your home just based on how bright it is outside. One of the things that I like doing with my smart home lighting is to let people know that I've seen them in my home or at my home and around my home. So you remember all those different services that we were using for cameras in the earlier applets. Now, Wise is one of them. 
Easy Viz, Blink, and Smart Things. They all have the ability to give you what is essentially a motion is detected trigger and you could use sound as detected here you could use smoke and co if you'd like but the point is to add a little bit of additional security now we already know that we're managing our cameras on and off based on actually being at home so if we are detecting motion on any of our cameras and this is actually a wise outdoor camera then i want to create a trigger one of the things you can do is manage your lighting. So if we wanted to turn on a specific light, and I think a great example of this is maybe just some of your entry lighting going on or your outdoor lighting, you can just turn those on to let someone know this is just a motion is detected and I'm going to turn on certain lights. Now, of course, because we're using If This Then That Pro today, we can add other options or other actions here. And, you know, you saw my other cameras. I can also go and start a recording on another camera. So if I had kind of two cameras pointed at the same area and I created an applet that turned on that specific camera, then I could actually trigger a short clip on the other camera to catch the other view when the first one has detected motion. So that's a really powerful way to create additional security around your home. Now that you have these four applets, you're ready to go and expand your knowledge further and do even more with If This Then That and their pro service. So go check out the playlist that's up on screen right now. Otherwise, thanks for watching and of course, don't hate, automate.